guys. So we have the second dragonfly piece that we're going to do that way they have, she has two options. Um, so this one is more intricate, it has a lot more spaces. Um, also with this one, everything that's silver is what will be seen through the pore, but all the white in between it will also be the back base color. Um, so first things first is deciding which way to turn it. I like this side, but it's not going to be symmetrical on the wings. So I almost feel like that side would be best. And I've got puppy pads up underneath it so that I can push and it's solid so that I can put pressure on it. Um, so I think I'm going to do it this way. So we're just going to peel it up. And do the same thing we did last one. I'm going to turn it to where I can see so that I can line it up even. Okay, so that's pretty. I almost like that silver so much that I wonder if maybe we just leave the silver dragonfly and not paint over it as an option, but I don't know. No, I think it's, it's too much color, too much going on. Okay, so. We're going to start on this side. This is going to be a lot harder to take off. I'm just going to move the puppy pads for a moment. Try to get it pushed down real good. Even up under the wood of the canvas, the wood cradle. I'm going to push all the way to the edges. underneath. Need to put that where the most of it is. So I can push and see. Go over it one more time on this side. Okay, and then we're going to attempt to peel it off. Nope, still going to be difficult. This one's going to take a lot of work to put it down. Because every little piece is going to have to be re 
gone over as I do. Just do it nice and slow and pull as I go. I wish I had something behind it to keep it from sliding. Since we know we're not going to use this again, we're just going to go ahead and cut it off. That way it's not in the way. <sighs> so the next big thing is to make sure this part's down. Once it is, then I can cut this bottom half off. Because this one's just really intricate. It's not like the last one where you could just do one big swipe. Um, it has all these intricate little pieces. And you have to make sure each piece is down just enough. I'm just going back and forth to make sure I get all the pieces as I pull so that all their edges stay down. Oops. Then we'll go over all of them again. Okay, top part's done. Just a few more down here. Okay. Okay, guys, now I just have to go over all of it again. Make sure all those little edges are down. It's going to be interesting pulling all these little pieces up without 
anything extra. Um, okay, so we're going to make sure it's down nice and good. Now we're going to move those out of the way again. And we're going to paint. And then we're going to try to peel all these up without making a mess. And hope it works. <laughs> so, we're going to do the same thing. Arteza Mars Black. it up here. Just like the last one, I'm going to go up one way and back because you want to get in all those little crevices and you want to get it against both edges. Before I mark, do this, I need to at least mark the tail. Okay. Okay, so I did a little thicker this time. That way it would cover all of the black spots. I mean the green spots underneath.
Okay. <sighs> now, I'm going to do some of the edges, but I'll have to go over them again, I know. But at least I'll get the first coat on the edges. Except for the bottom edge, which I'm not going to do because that's where I marked off where that line is. Because some of these little pieces I can see, but I can't see that piece through. That's all we're going to do right now, and we'll uh, touch up the rest later. We'll come back when it is almost dry, and we'll try to peel off all those little pieces and see if it works. So hopefully this one works. Let me know if you think it will work or not in the comments below so we can see, you know, what everybody thinks, and when we try it, we'll see who's right. So we'll do that in the very next video. So keep an eye out.